It's Katie with One Music School, and today we have another unboxing from Enya Ukuleles. So, like, seriously, anytime that I receive a, a direct message or message, email, something like that from a company that says, Hey, we'd love to send you something, I'm like, Who? Thank you so much to Enya for sending me this. I'm really excited to open it up. So, grab your IKEA scissors. Let's get this going. So the people that work where I have my P.O. box are probably wondering like, why is this woman receiving so many instruments? Like she must be really into ukuleles. I'm like, you have no idea. I'm so grateful. Like I can't even, <laughs> I'm so floored every time a company wants to say, hey, we would love for you to unbox our product. Like, really? It's incredible. So to me, I think it's because of you guys. Single time you watch a video of mine, you hit the like button, you share it. Like these, this is because of you that I'm receiving these things. But also in the same breath, these unboxings are for you to see if this is worth your hard-earned money. If you know my story, I didn't grow up in an affluent family. We were very hardworking, and everything that we, um, everything that I wanted, my parents said, okay, great. You, of course you can go get it, but you have to earn it. You have to buy it yourself. So I'm like, okay. And the very first instrument that I purchased was when I was, uh, I think it was 13 years old and I saved up for two years for my very own flute. That's why unboxings and reviews are very important to me because I really wanna see if this is worth your hard-earned money. Ooh, the case, the case, the case. Oh, and yeah, you do such a good job with your cases. Uh, if you saw my other unboxing of uh, the previous Enya ukulele that I unboxed, it had, um, I couldn't go on and on enough about the case, just how thick it is. So if you wanna see that, I'm gonna put that in the cards above, also in the description box below, so that you can see another ukulele by the same company. Oh, that's really cool. It's black. <laughs> Trebles. <gasps> wow. Holy cow. I've never seen anything like this. That's beautiful. Oh, the inlays are beautiful. Oh, look at that beautiful glossy finish. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have never seen an ukulele stained black like this. This is the KUC MAD Concert Ukulele from Inya. This is the one from Kaka, a branch of Inya that sells higher end instruments. The back, sides, and top are solid mahogany with a black glossy finish. The fingerboard is rosewood and the bridge is black rich light. The slotted headstock allows the strings to be placed at the nut at a sharper angle, making nylon strings more responsive and keeps the instrument in tune. It has a drill-through bridge. The drill-through bridge allows the strings to directly touch the instrument so that it resonates right to the tone wood. It has a compensated saddle. So a compensated saddle means that the saddle is higher or lower in certain areas of the fretboard. Saddle compensation helps normalize the effect of string length. It's not a perfect solution, but the intonation is improved noticeably. So I'm going to stretch out the strings and I'm using that very lightly in quotations because I had a subscriber ask me, is there a proper way to do it? There is a proper way to do it. I used to just tug on the strings and then tune it and it would have been fine. But I found that on one of my ukuleles, it wouldn't stay in tune and it wasn't the ukulele's fault. It was because I stretched the string too much, caused a flat spot because it is a nylon string. You could stretch it out and create a spot in your string that is thinner than the other part of the string, and yeah, it's gonna throw it out of tune. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pointer and my thumb, and I'm going to take the string and I'm going to lightly pinch it from one end to the other, just very, very lightly. I just did um, a how to change your strings tutorial on several different bridges, and I also demonstrate this. So if you are interested in that tutorial, I will leave that in the cards above and put that in the description box below. Oh. Listen to that after ring. That lasts for a very, very long time. That resonates for a very long time. Wait, 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 for almost forgot. Smell test. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That smells 
beautiful. That smells gorgeous. Mmm, that smells amazing. That smells like a solid wood instrument. Pretty. I'm so excited. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely stunning. So let's check the fretboard. So if you know me, you know that I like to get a second opinion on things. So I took this to a music festival and one of my friends, he was holding an ukulele clinic. His name is Greg Fortin. He's a high school band director and a lover of the Hawaiian culture. He's traveled the world sharing the aloha spirit by teaching the ukulele and holding regular ukulele jams. I have an Enya. You have an Enya? Really? I what kind? I own an Enya that I bought in uh, Hawaii. <laughs> Yeah, I trust Greg's opinion because he's going to give me an honest assessment of what an instrument is. And he actually owns an Enya right now. I'm sorry, he couldn't tell me which one he owned, but it's really interesting to see, okay, first impression, what do you think from somebody that as an absolute lover of, of the Hawaiian culture and advocate of the ukulele? So it's really nice to get his opinion. So he was holding a Petros, <laughs> playing a $7,000 Petros. It's like, yeah, I own an Enya. I think that's really cool that he has a variety of ukuleles and not just loyal to one brand. Here's a couple more. <laughs> It's got a, to me a very soft feel, so I'm able to play through the ukulele a little harder compared to like my other ukulele. Um, personally, I like to play harder instrument. Instrument it gets a little more bite to it, and I'm not getting bite out of this, but it's got a more mellow tone, a way, way fatter tone I'll call it than my ukulele does. Um, easy to play, super easy on the fingers. Um, not a lot of tension going compared to like my ukulele is a lot of tension, but that's what I like. Ooh. I love it. Mm, what do you love about it? I like the thickness of the neck. It's quite a bit thicker than a normal ukulele. You have a lot more, a lot more room to go. And it's got a mellow sound that still has a breathable quality to it. And I love that it was in tune right away, <laughs> even though you said it was brand new and the strings haven't settled. Perfect intonation. So when I went up to some people and I asked them if they would be willing to help me with my YouTube video to play this instrument, give me their impressions, and just tell me more about it, what did they think about it, uh, immediately they said that when uh, I was playing in the ukulele circle, they noticed this ukulele because it's striking. It is really beautiful and it's different. Not in such a way where it's like, mm, that's different. Mm. <laughs> no, it was in such a way where it's like, no, that's pretty. What? 
is that? That's intriguing. I will agree with them that the tone is a beautiful tone, but it is more on the mellow side. That could have everything to do with the strings that are on this instrument. Maybe if you restring it with some aquila or with um, a, a different type of fluorocarbon strings, it may change the tone just a little bit and give it more of a bite rather than have that, you know, mellow tone. But, you know, it really depends upon your personal preference. I think it is a beautiful instrument. It's made out of beautiful materials. I love how the neck is matte. This is a high gloss finish, beautiful. Just because this is a high gloss finish doesn't mean it's going to squelch the tone. Speaking of stunning, um, I have a friend here on YouTube and she is doing a review of the blue one. And when I saw the blue one, I went, oh my word, that is stunning. Like, I love this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Blue just has a special place in my heart because my father gave me my very first guitar when I was 18 years old and it was blue. So anytime I see a blue instrument, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I have to mention Ukulele Cheats. He just opened up the very same instrument, but with a different color finish. Thank you, Enya, for sending me this instrument, and thank you for trusting me to try to give as much of an unbiased review as I possibly can. Please leave a comment in the comment section below if you have an Enya ukulele. What make, what model do you have, when did you buy it, uh, what is your experience with it, and yeah, just please leave that because we are the collective brain here. Um, we are a community, and it really helps other people if you are able to share your experiences with an instrument or a company because then it really helps us make Make a decision whether something is worth your hard-earned money or not because you definitely deserve to shop around so please let me know if you have any comments or questions about this instrument that you would like to ask me and i will see you in the next one bye